Hello everyone, welcome back to the Doing It Easy channel. Uh, today we are going to create a small, uh, today we are going to create, actually integrate a jQuery UI date picker into our EA application. So let's start with the database as usual. Actually, when you are developing a EA application, always start with the database and complete it. Uh, complete structure of the database for, uh, for uh, since I am doing this tutorials I haven't done that so so bear with me okay, let's, start, let's, start, let's create another column after the selling and let's say date okay, let's create a date the type is a date and uh, yeah let's save that okay we have created another column created date uh, let's go back and create the model again since since we have created the model again because it changed we added another column to the table name of the table is uh, items as you can see there is a little bit of difference they have added another attribute for the created date and it does is required and it is search and close let's override this and generate okay now let's go to the item master items create let's log in first okay okay we did this last lesson so we are gonna add another uh, another call another field here which is the date which the item is created and we are going to create a jQuery UI date picker we are going to integrate jQuery UI date picker here so let's go to our form and uh, let's copy one of these and paste it uh, now let's refresh our project since it gets updated uh, refresh and let's go to our module item master module module items module okay so this is a new attribute so we are going to create that so item date and item created date okay. now for the integration of the jQuery UI they pick up okay i will copy the code and i'll explain the code from here okay let's open and close our php text We are going to in this is Z grid JUI date picker. Uh, this is actually integrated to the e application all by itself, so we just have to implement it. So create a date, change this attribute name, and the model is created date. Okay, now there is these are additional options which you can use and the format of the date. Okay. Uh, show animates a slide and you can have you can put in other animations to the date picker okay let's view what has happened uh, 
there you go now the rate picker is done uh, let's edit check the database our date is error okay that's a quick lesson on how to integrate the data jQuery date picker uh, okay that's it for today I'll enjoy and always practice always remember to practice and with practice you get this and get the hang okay I'll see you next time have a good day bye bye